going to show you how to track the comet. If you want to track comet instead of tracking stars, you can actually track the comet. So let's get into that. Uh, on your PC, you need to start by going uh, on Windows Explorer, find C colon, and then program files x86. And inside there, you'll find the EQ mod folder. And in there, you'll find a file called custom track dot txt so I'm going to copy that file and I'm going to put it in a folder my own folder called Martin I'm deliberately taking it out of that program uh, programs x86 because there are permissions issues uh, with modifying it in situ if we now open that file up you'll get a whole bunch of uh, information uh, including at the top here uh, the website for the Minor Planet Center where you get the ephemerides for uh, for your comet. So I'm going to copy that with my control C and then I'm going to open up a, a Chrome or a web browser, paste in the address and hit return. And that brings us up to this site. So now there's a whole bunch of things to enter. The first thing to enter is the name of the comet. So I'm going to try C stroke 2022 space E3. I'm leaving the ZTF off there. I don't think that's going to help to, to add that. We'll come back and check that in a minute. So the next thing to, is to put in the ephemeris, ephemeris start date. So I'm going to do 2023 uh, space Jan space 17. That's today's date and I'm going to put a time in as well. It's now 1728 so I'm going to put 17.0000 as the time and I'm going to set the ephemeris interval to 5 and change the units to minutes so I want an ephemeris for every 5 minutes so that will be 12 of those per hour so for 24 hours uh, I will need uh, 24 times 12 which is 288 so 288 of those will give me 24 hours worth uh, and I don't have an observatory code but I do have a longitude so I'm going to type in uh, my longitude and my latitude and my altitude above mean sea level at 16 meters. We need to choose full sexagesimal uh, which is already selected uh, on mine and I want separate RA and declination coordinate motions uh, in uh, uh, in arc seconds per day I think that is or arc minutes per, per minute sorry uh, I think we want it in per second so I'll change that to per second uh, and we what else do we need to change nothing else formats for the outputs you leave at none and let's give it a try and see what happens. So we'll click on Get Ephemerides here, and it's produced them. So you can see it's found the comet C2022E3, and here are the ephemeris data. So I'm going to just click and drag and select all of these lines of data up to the bottom, Control C, and then I'm going to open up my, my editor, my notepad editor, and just after format equals MPC, I'm going to paste them in and I'm going to put a name on here as well comet underscore C2022 E3 ZTF okay and then I'm going to do file save close the file we can close the browser as well and now we're going to run up any program that can connect to your mount so I'm going to use PHD2 Go in and connect to the mount. Rate one. Connect it to the mount. Um, unpark. I'll, I'll unpark it, but I don't think that's essential. And then we open up this expanded section here, and you're looking for custom track file. So you click on open file, and you get a browser comes up, and you need to be finding the uh, C colon program files, uh, EQ mod. Now, uh, 
I need to copy this file. Sorry, I edited the file in. Just hide this a moment. Sorry, Mr. Step. So I'm just going to take that file that I've created and edited, and I'm going to uh, change its name. C2022 E3 ZTF. And then I'm going to copy it and go back to C colon program files x86 EQ mod and paste it in there. You need to give administrator permission to do that, but that's now done. So now I can go into the EQ mod window, click open, and hopefully find my file. There it is under C colon programs files x86 EQ mod. I pick that file and click OK. Now, if the file name appears in here, that means it's read it successfully. So, uh, so that's all good. So there's only one thing left to do. You'll notice that a new button appears here now. So if I click on the usual, if a usual sidereal button, I'm tr I'm now tracking uh, sidereally. But if I want to slew to the comet, I can right click on this symbol here which if you hover over it, you get the name of the custom track file. To if I right click, my mount starts moving and it's moving to the Comet. And you can see the track rate is now shown as Comet C2022 E3 ZTF. So that's really all there is to it. That took a couple of minutes and I can repeat that process uh, anytime that I uh, want to do another session, I can get fresh ephemerides, load them into that file and track the comet. Of course that means that the, the comet should stay in the same place on your frame, but the stars will walk. If you just do sidereal tracking, the stars will stay where they are, but the comet will move. And, and the, the importance of this is it means that I can do longer exposures on the comet without it smearing because of its motion across the sky. So that's how to do the tracking. Hope that's useful for you. See you next time. Clear skies.